Welcome back to Farage. Well, over in the United States, this is truly unbelievable. During a congressional hearing in the House of Representatives, three leaders of some of the top universities of MIT, Harvard, and the University of Pennsylvania repeatedly failed to answer this simple question whether calling for the genocide of Jews went against their code of conduct. Just take Penn. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment. So is your testimony it, that it, you will not answer yes? If it uh, is, if the, yes speech or no. becomes, if the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment. Yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The speech is not harassment. This is unacceptable, Ms. McGill. I'm going to give you one more opportunity for the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be harassment. That was the head of the University of Pennsylvania. Truly unbelievable. Well, I'm delighted to be joined in the studio now by the founder of the Israel Advocacy Movement, Joseph Cohen, to discuss this. Joseph, in a sense, I'd much rather you weren't in the studio because we shouldn't have to be discussing this. It's unbelievable. I nearly fell over with anger when I watched that video. What is going on here? I mean, as a Jew, it's terrifying. The fact that anti-Semitism in the last month in the UK has risen by 800%. And you've got a, a president of a university refusing, refusing to say that this goes against the university's code of conduct, the call for genocide, the call for genocide of any people. And the thing to really dwell on here is, these are, this is a university that will see speech as violence, words as violence. If you misgender someone, if you stray into any of these areas, then they will act. But if you call for the genocide of the Jewish people two months after the worst massacre of Jews since the Holocaust, nothing. I mean, she, she basically said, and actually there were three separate um, heads of these universities, and all of them basically used almost exactly the same language that, well, it depends on the context. How is, how is calling for the genocide of Jews, I mean, it's a question of, it's a question of fact and violence as opposed to context. And she actually added something. She said, if it becomes, if it turns into conduct, what does that mean? If someone acts on it and actually oh. genocides the Jews, then it's against our policy. But inciting it, calling for it, no, that's... But, so why is this going on? What's in their heads? I mean, these are clearly intelligent, smart people. Yeah. I think, unfortunately... People have got themselves so tied up in knots with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict that they're unable to see racism when it's staring them in the face. They're unable to see genocidal racism when it's looking at them in the face. I, I hesitate to ask this question, but what do you think the heads of Oxford and Cambridge universities would say if they were asked exactly the same question? I I'd hope after seeing the backlash from this that they wouldn't respond in the same way. But had there not been this backlash, I think we suffer from the same problems in our institutions. There was actually a case in Bristol not so long ago with a professor who was accused of anti-Semitism and hundreds of academics came out in support of him. And then this academic was ultimately fired. Do you think the, the, those three heads should be fired? I mean, do you think the pressure will be uh, so intense that actually they'll have to resign? I, I don't think there's going to be. I, I would hope that they resign. And I, I can't see that there's a place in academia. I've got many of my friends, um, their children are going off to university as we speak. They're, they're preparing, they're getting ready to start uni, and they're terrified. They're afraid, and they know that if there are calls for genocide... This and so, I, I mean... I fear the answer is that this is not just uh, limited to those three universities. I mean, how widespread is this? I think there's a systemic problem in the, in the West today where people are unable to speak out against anti-Semitism. And as I don't know a Jew 
that isn't questioning, do we have a future in the nations where we have felt at home for millennia? It's truly awful. It's appalling. And I just don't know how anybody uh, could, frankly, uh, speak and think like that. Joseph, thank you so much for coming in. As I say, it's, it's good to talk, but in a sense, we shouldn't be talking about this. We shouldn't. It's just appalling. But thank you, thank for you very much it. indeed. No, I really, uh, really appreciate it.